So a conditional probability is a situation um, where you've been given a hint of some sort. So you've been given some information. And what we do is we narrow down the sample space. So if we look at this diagram, for instance, this is a situation where given B, what's probability of A? That means we know that B has happened, and so what's the probability that A has happened? We're only going to be able to use the part of A that happens when B also happens. So it becomes basically the red out of the yellow as a fraction. So that's what we talk about using it informally. You can think about what's desired. Well, A is just that little part of the red there, and out of the total possible given, well, knowing that it was B, we would know out of B. So if you determine the out of group, what it's out of, that will go on the bottom of your fraction. So let's think about this. What is the probability of selecting a heart out of a deck of cards? So out of a deck of cards, given that the card is red. So given being our big keyword there, we know something. We know the card is red. Well, that tells me that that's half the deck, right? We know that there's 52 cards in a deck, that half of them are red, half of them are black. So that gives me out of the 26 possibility, What's the probability that there are heart? Well, I have 13 hearts in a deck, so 13 that I want out of the 26 total, and here you get one half. So that was 13 hearts in a deck, and there's 26 red cards in a deck. Given that you know a card is a four, so that's our hint, that is the out of, that becomes the bottom of the fraction. What is the probability of a randomly selected card being a heart? So let's think about this. How many fours are there in a the deck? There's four fours in a deck, right? And then we would know that there'd be one heart, one diamond, one spade, and one club. So we have, um, in this case, out of the four fours that are possible, one of them is available as a heart. So out of the four possible, we know we have a chance of getting one heart, so it's a one-fourth shot. Now there's also situations for conditional probability that can be solved formally using this equation. Looks quite confusing, but what this says is the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A and B over the probability, maybe instead of over I'll just say out of because I like that as the fraction, out of the probability of B. So A given B, probability of A and B divided by the probability of B, which is kind of basically what we've got here. The, what we're looking at here is the probability of it being a heart given that it is a 4, so this becomes the A and this becomes the B. So the probability of being at 4 was being a 4 was 4. Um, well, 4 out of 52, and the probability of being a heart in that case. Um, so you can use that, but let's take a look at it in terms of these numbers here. So the probability of A and probability of B, assuming A and B are independent, Given B occurs, what is the probability that A happens? So given B occurs, that means that goes to the bottom of my fraction. That is the out of part. So the probability of A given B will be equal to the probability of A and B. Well, remember they're independent. So that means the probability of A times the probability of B will give us the and. So 0.15 times 0.37. Gives me 0 0.0. 5, 5, 5. So because they're independent, I know that. So I'm going to have 0 0.055 out of the probability of B, 0 0.37. And you get 0 0.15. So not that exciting of a problem, because if they're independent, they should have no influence on each other, and that's kind of the trick here. Um, but even if that wasn't the trick, you would still use this formula exactly the way we've done it. So um, that comes up sometimes, but um, more importantly, just that you know how to use the formula.
And just to do one more example here quickly, I um, wrote that in there for you, when you have non-independent events here. So the probability of A is 0.1, probability of B is 0.6, and here I'm telling you the probability of A and B is 0 0.3. So here to get the probability of A given B, it's going to be the probability of A and B, which is 0 0.3, out of the probability of B, which is 0 0.6. So that I don't even have to use this part out here, I'm just using the AND and the B, because it's the probability of A given B, so I'm going to use the probability of A and B over the probability of B, and that should get us 0.5.